back to our channel. How are you? So now I am giving you a problem. So the problem is 321 that is 3 to 1 into 23. 3 to 1 into 23. You have to multiply this and see. And you just count how much time you are taking to multiply this. So immediately after I say you that, multiply this number and give me the answer. You just go and bring a book and a pen and start doing the multiplication process as if it is here. That is nine step process. But have you ever wondered that multiplication would be easier than the method you follow? Yes, it is Japanese multiplication trick. And by using this trick, you can just multiply in 10 seconds. No matter how many digits, 2 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit, you can easily multiply by using this Japanese multiplication trick. And how to use this trick? We are going to know in this video. And also, by the end of this video, you will multiply the given number that is 3, 2, 1 into 2, 3 in just 10 seconds by using this special trick. Here let's take an example that is 23 into 12. In Japanese trick, we use lines to multiply. So let's take the first number that is 23 and multiply this number with this. So first 23. In 23, we are having the tens digit 2 and the units digit 3. Let's take the tens digit 2 and we will draw two lines. How? Diagonally. Diagonally we will draw two lines in this way. Okay. Then we will take the units digit that is 3. So we have to draw three lines. Where we will draw? We will leave some space here and draw three lines parallel to the previous lines. Okay. One, two, three. Up till here understood? Okay. So the second number that is 12. In 12 we are having the units digit as 2 and the tens digit as 1. So tens digit we will take 1 and we will draw 1 line. How? In the same direction? No. We will not do in the same direction. We will draw that and cross those previous lines. How? Let's see. 1. One line we will draw by crossing those previous lines. Next, we will take the units digit that is 2 and we will draw two lines. We should leave some space because we will get confused if they are near to each other. So, we will draw parallel to the previous line that is one line. 1, 2. Now it is clear. So, this will be divided into zones. All these lines will have separate zones. So let's see that. Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3. So let's start from the right side. Why? We will know later in this video. So let's start from the right side. And what are we going to count in this? So wherever the two lines meet is known as point of intersection. If any two lines are meeting each other, the, the point where they are meeting is known as point of intersection. And here we have many lines and they are meeting at many points. So we are going to count all those points and write the number. Let's start. In the zone 1 we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 point of intersections. Then in the zone 2 we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 point of intersections and in the zone 3 we are having 1, 2. So we are having 2 point of intersections. So we are going to write this number from the left side. Okay. So why? In multiplication we do the process from the right side and write the answer from the left side. Why that reason also I am going to say. And now let's write first. 2, 7, 6. In this way only you have to write from the zone 3 to 1. 2, 7, 6. Let us see. Yes. And 2, 7, 6 that is 276 is the answer to the question that 23 into 12. 
you can check in your calculators the answer is 276 this is really an easy process but what if we get 10 11 or 14 point of intersections we are having a process for that also so let's see 15 into 32 so in this we are having two numbers and the first number is 15 let us take the tens digit that is 1 so 1 we are going to draw one line diagonally and we will leave some space and draw five lines because this is in the units place 1 2 3 4 5 five lines next we will take the second number that is 32 and in tens place we are having three so we will cut these lines by drawing three lines one two three now we will leave some space and draw two lines because this is in the units place two lines yes now we are going to divide it into zones zone one zone two zone three okay now uh, zone one we are having point of intersections let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 let's note down 10 till now we got only one digit numbers in each zone now we are getting two digit number what we will do so now we are having 10 we will keep the units digit number here only and we will carry the tens digit number to the next zone that is zone 2 okay I'm repeating it if we are having 10 here we will keep the units digit here that is 0 will be here only and 1 will be carried to the next zone that is zone 2 what we will do this one we are going to add 1 to the point of intersections we get in this zone 2 I will explain it let's keep okay zone 2 point of intersections 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 that 17 we are going to add to the tens digit number which we took from the zone 1 that is 1 1 plus 17 we will do and we will get 18 okay so now 18 we are having again two digit number then we are going to carry the tens digit number that is 1 to the next zone that is zone 3 let's carry and now the point of intersections in zone 2 will be 8 so now what is the number of intersections in zone 3 let's count 1 2 3 3 we are having here and this 3 we are going to add to this 1 ok 3 now we will get the answer as 4 so 4 means 4 8 0 because we will take from the left side we should write it as 4 8 0 and if you multiply and check we will get 15 into 32 as 480 okay now let's go to the next bigger problems now we have done two digit numbers we will do three digit numbers now 321 into 342 let's take the first number 321 we are having three in hundreds place let's draw three lines diagonally one two three then leave some space and draw two lines because it is in tens place one two next leave some space and draw one line one then with the second number cut the previous lines in hundreds place we are having three so draw three lines one two three leave some space and draw four lines one two three four leaves again space and draw two lines one two now divide it into zones zone one zone two zone three zone four zone five let's count the point of intersections from the zone one 
1, 2. Let's note down the number 2. Zone 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Zone 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's note down 17. And from this, the tens digit will be taken to the next zone. That is zone 4. Let's take 1 and add this 1 to the number of intersections happening in this zone 4. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's add this 18 to the previous number that is 1. 1 plus 18 gives 19. Okay. So now 19 wins. We are going to take 1 to the next zone. So zone 5, 1. We are going to count the intersections here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 intersections. So 9 plus 1 gives 10. So we are getting this number and we can't carry 1 from 10 because there is no further zone in this process. If there was zone 6, then this 1 will be carried to zone 6. But there is no zone further so we will stop the problem here. And now the answer will be 1,9782. This is the correct answer. You can check. Okay. 32 into 13. So this problem we will try to do it in 10 seconds. Okay. So let's start. 3 lines, then 2, then 1, then 3, then zones, then count the point of intersections, 6, then 11 point of intersections we are getting in this, then carry 1, then 3 plus 1 is 4, then we are getting 4, 1, 6 as the answer. We have completed this problem in just 10 seconds. In this way, we can do more problems and get the answers in just few seconds. So friends, that was the Japanese multiplication trick and hope you all got to do this multiplication trick in just 10 seconds. So friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video to all your friends and surprise them by this Japanese multiplication trick. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos to activate the bell icon. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Links are given in the description box. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.